Hey, what's up you guys? Installing a trailer hitch on your Toyota Tacoma can take you to some really cool places like camping, biking, or even towing a U-Haul trailer just about anywhere in North America. Let's go ahead and break down that install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. So to start off our install, we're going to get our carriage bolts and blocks into place right here on this cross member. They're going to go into these two holes right here, and we're going to need to use a fish wire technique to be able to bring it through our frame. So let's go ahead and show you how that's done. So to use our fish wire, we're going to take the coiled end, and we're going to push it through our driver's side hole first. We're just going to take it, we're going to push it towards the outside, and we're just going to keep pushing it, and it's going to come out right on this opening on the side over here. So now that we have that through, we're gonna take our carriage bolt and block, and we're gonna attach it to the coiled end of our fish wire, and it just screws onto place. And then it's, really, it's a really tight channel, so we want to leave our spacer block on our bolt, but just barely, so about right there as we push it through. And then we're gonna pull it through. And we'll repeat on our other hole. Next, let's go ahead and point out our attachment points on our frame that we'll be using to install our hitch. On the driver's side, we're gonna be using these two weld nuts and it's identical on the passenger side. And now we're ready to go get our hitch. So now we're ready to bring our hitch into place. We're gonna be using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack to help hold it up. If you don't have a hitch jack, we recommend that you get an extra set of hands as this hitch is pretty heavy. So we're just gonna line it up, starting with our carriage bolts. Now before we raise it up, we're gonna take our fish wire and we're gonna put it through our two holes right here that line up with our carriage bolts. And now that we have those fish wires through, we'll go ahead and raise it up. Now with our hitch lined up, we can install the rest of our hardware. Now for each of those weld nuts that we pointed out, we have a bolt and a conical tooth washer that will be installed into there. Now we're gonna start on the driver's side, let's go ahead and put it into place. and we'll repeat on the other side. Now on here, we're going to remove our fish wire and we're going to install our provided flange nut. and we'll repeat on the other side. And now with everything in place, we're just gonna tighten and torque all of our bolts to the manufacturer's specification. We're gonna be using a 19 millimeter socket for all of our bolts, and it helps to use a five inch extension. With our hitch installed, we pulled our vehicle down onto level ground to show you some important measurements for your hitch accessories. This is a two inch receiver. From the pinhole to the end of the bumper is three and a half inches. And from the ground to the top of the receiver is 19 inches. And this will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories, such as a bike rack. Now that wraps up our install and our video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this install or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch Professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.